and welcome to Behind the Science, where we ask challenging questions directly to the scientists who are trying to solve today's toughest problems. I'm your host, Jennifer Fournier. In the past episodes, we have looked to understand what protein bioanalysis is and the terminology behind it. I have found a standardized method and kit-based approach that sounds great, but I have to be honest, I am still a little skeptical. How flexible is this kit-based approach? I am sure it's easy to standardize on small proteins, but the fact is, size matters, so the true test is large, complicated proteins that are traditionally hard to digest. In this episode of Behind the Science, let's really interrogate this kit-based approach and see how truly flexible it is. Hi, Mary. Hi, Paula. I'm back. She's back. Hey, Jen. How's it going? Good. So I was really intrigued by this kit-based approach that we learned about in the last episode. However, I have to be honest, I went back and talked to my colleagues about it, and they were a little skeptical. So I didn't come empty-handed. I have a wide variety of samples here from small biomarkers all the way up to really complicated biotherapeutics, and I'd like you to run these for me. I think Paula can handle that. Challenge accepted. When developing this kit-based approach, we kept in mind that size does actually matter, and we started with the toughest proteins first with monoclonal antibodies. But let's take a look at some of the smaller ones, and we'll work our way up. If we take a look at cytochrome C, which is pretty small and just over 12 kilodalton, we directly digested 35 microliters of sample and then purified the peptides with SPE. In this case, the digestion was only 10 minutes long using the kit. Apolipoprotein A1 is a little bit bigger at 28 kilodalton, and we also did a direct digest here, this time from only 15 microliters of plasma, and we were able to digest in only 15 to about 30 minutes. Bigger still are more monoclonal antibodies coming in at about 150 kilodalton. Here the sample prep gets even more interesting. In the work we did with infliximab, we actually employed a protein A affinity step and SPE at the peptide level. Due to the size of the complexity of antibodies and antibody drug conjugates, the digestion time is now two hours. So you can see that we're able to use the kit and all of the diverse methods and proteins that come into our lab, all while achieving sensitivity, accuracy, and precision that's required. Speaking about accuracy and precision, Oh, Ken, you are so precise, but you are not at all accurate. Look, that's accuracy. No, that's not accuracy, that's precision. This is accurate and precise. By the way, no darts in the lab. You mean you're not gonna help me? You're beyond help. <laughs> Having a method that is both accurate and precise is important, but don't forget about sensitivity. In fact, the most striking attribute of the data is what you see represented here in the chromatogram. Using the ProteinWorks Express Digest Kit and SPE Kit with affinity purification up front, we can achieve a detection limit of only 10 nanogram per mil. That is roughly 660 picomolar. Remember that this is using a standardized kit with no modifications and only 35 microliters of starting plasma. This method is up for the challenge. It's not only versatile, but it's accurate, precise, and highly sensitive. You can say it was spot on especially when we're playing darts. Yeah! Protein quantification workflows can be intimidating and historically complicated, taking a long time to optimize. I feel much more confident now moving from previous ELISA-based approaches to LCMS with the support and solid starting point and foundation that the ProteinWorks kits provide. Check out the links below to learn more about all the different applications that were done on a variety of different samples contained in a great application notebook. Maybe I didn't challenge them enough though. You know the holy grail would be if we could use this kit-based approach on something so hard, so mind-blowing. That would be a true test. So join us next time as we go behind the science to see how protein work stacks up to the holy grail of samples, antibody drug conjugates.